Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So, if you've seen my summon video for Fia, I apologize for that one. I had to update my the software for my camera, so hopefully by now you'll have a better camera quality, which I'm using right now. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm done with this with, with the trial for each. I'm gonna give you guys probably my thoughts and. Probably kind of a strategy on how to play them. And if you haven't summoned Gino and Fia yet, probably you'd have, um, what do you call this, an idea who to get if you want to prioritize one or the other. But before that, we'll be starting with Rainbow. Um, this girl really knows how to lift <laughs> a very, very, very uh, heavy weight. I'm, I'm not talking about the front. I'm talking about the back. So let's start her trial. Okay, but before her trial, let's do a recap of her skills first. So activate sunflower mark, a uh, sun shower marks on the field. So this is random, guys. Damage is nine tiles in a square shape, which is a big area, especially if you have a couple of sun shower marks on the field. Um, the damage is. Uh, it's good actually at 240 uh, but if it's multiple damage down to 10 uh, then if any tile on the field is occupied by three activated marks but no sh sun shower mark generates one new sun shower mark on that tile so this again is pretty much very random chain combo is deals 150 damage to three nearest enemies and generates a sun shower mark for um, the enemies actually increase as you do more chain combos and the equipment is grand shield that is 120 percent of rainbow's defense and lasts for one round when passing through a sunflower mark generates one sh why why do i keep on saying sunflower mark it's sun shower mark generates a sun shower mark on one random blue tile at the beginning of each round so i'm gonna i actually i I'm actually impressed on if she's going to be a free unit. I'm impressed with how she's built. I'm impressed on if if we're going to get you know her for free, she's going to be good. Especially if you don't have any sniper units for for what they call this for uh, water. As you can see, her gear is pretty much very 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 heavy <laughs> she's front heavy she's back heavy as you can see um so let's let's try her out okay so she's trying to do initiate so as you initiate it explodes so that is random already placed in the field so let's do some let's go through the field here not you. Okay, so let's do some damage here. <laughs> and the funny part is she moves so slowly with one cannon blast and deals two, three. Three damage there. Okay, so no... Oh, generated one here. So it's pretty much very, very random. But if your enemies is clustered within... That those sun shower marks there, the damage is sufficient, guys. I I I don't you know I don't want to kid you guys. It's sufficient enough that she can be used in scenarios where there are mobs running after your team. As long as the sun shower marks is uh, don't don't expect too much. She's going to be a fun unit to bring. So let's do with wave two. So you can't generate, you can't place sun shower mark. You just have to, you know, pray for the best that uh, it's uh, they're generated where you need them to be. But again, the area of effect for each sun shower mark is big. So the chances of you hitting a target is high, especially for the damage of two forty uh, percent. That's very sufficient. So sun shower marks will hit. Okay. 
let's just finish this out and uh, go to the other two later but for her my what they call this my initial thoughts is she's fun to have she has a big amount of damage and the problem with her is the sun shower mark is not you know is not predictable on where it will be so you have to rely more on her combos and um by the way if you max com if you chain combo her well she's gonna deal four um to four you know four nearest enemies so not that bad not that bad she's not your you know she's not your top tier sniper but definitely she is going to be fun to use that's that's my word fun if you need more snipers for for water and if you need more defense like for example if you need a shield so she generates a shield based on her defense which is actually good it's decent for a sniper and a good thing to have so as you can see there a, she can be your tertiary probably damage leader dps unit um she's gonna be fun you're gonna be maxing her out and uh, hope you have fun with her so moving on to the next guys aurorian trial i'm gonna do a re the fias review last for gino gino's a bit complicated because gino is a buffer he buffs um your a unit i'm not saying the last one the first one he he buffs a unit within the team then additional buffs when he brings them as captain but the problem what i don't like about the he's a high risk high, high risk high reward kind of guy so as you so the original deck so as you initiate this you'll be drawing cards so as you draw cards your this is your deck your deck basically expands to any number depending on what this is your sanity here sanity system so at uh, at 100 they they're calm <laughs> But once they reach zero, they're gonna go crazy and they're gonna poison themselves. So let's do some draws here. Let's. Okay, so you can actually draw as much as you want depending on your sanity. So you should be able to maximize this or kill the enemy as quickly as possible. So we're just gonna do one more, six cards. I should have six cards. So. The first chain would be one of each, which is the, or in the last position of the team gains additional attack to 77% of G's basic attack. So the last one gains it, not anybody in the middle, the last one gains it, or the other one is going to be this one. The current captain gains additional attack that is 8% of G's attack. So technically, if you give give her give paloma seven plus eight so she's the last give her seven switch her to captain give her eight okay so let's do first um do first the first one the first combo so give paloma seven then switch her set her up as captain then do this one so she gino basically is a buffer he's a he's a good buffer that's it that's how i may see his team uh his his strategy um the sanity system actually drives me bonkers here so let's do this let's uh, try to clean this out the limitation to the buff actually is 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 very unfortunate because again you cannot really go down that much from what you have from 50 sorry from you can't go down zero if you go down zero you'll be poisoned so 
Let's just uh, do this and do this quick. So as you can see, <clears throat> the buffs that she has, Paloma's buffs, would stay with her for quite a while. So she has two buffs here, as you can see. So it's for the duration of the battle. So you only need to cast it once, technically. So that is how she um, Gino is built. So you don't need to draw more cards if you don't need to transfer that buff. So let's uh, just do this for Paloma and take care of this. Go to the second wave. Okay, so you don't have to transfer the buff. Um, you don't have to reapply the buff. Again, the buff is still here. So you don't need really to do anything more. You just have to follow through with um, with the other enemies that are left here. So let us... 15. Okay. Unless if you want to transfer it to another, you know, another person, another unit, then you will have to lower your sanity down. So your status is poisoned already. He he's gonna be good for a short duration, a burst of damage for one of your highest damage dealers or damage output dealers but definitely for me again that is his limitation and also that is his strength you don't really need to um reapply a lot of or decrease your sanity <laughs> further actually at 50 i'm happy with the, the buff that he gives again let's check it out so the buff is still there again it's for the duration of the game or for the duration of this match. So that is it. So again, if he's a support, he's going to be good for a, a Aurorian who does really a lot of damage with that multiplier and the buff. Then he's going to be good. And we're going to the last one, which is Fia. Fia is, is a bit more fun than Gino. I, 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 at this point, I kind of like Gino in a way if you need to buff somebody in some of the missions, that is it. That is his, his range. But for this girl, for Fia, she has a lot of, uh, she has a lot of uh, applications because the damage that she, the damage that she deals is very big, especially uh, with Kylo, so we'll we'll go through her skills first. Okay, consume one point of bait value to replace one hunt mark on any tile. So you can place this is the hunt mark, the four here. You can place it anywhere, and you can also use to activate the mark. So. The marks will 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 be in place for zero, one, two, three rounds. For each corresponding round, the damage in the area will be different. For zero, it will be hunt mark tile only. For for one, it's five tiles in a cross shape. For three, for sorry, for for one, for two rounds, it's thirteen tiles in a diamond shape. And for number three, which is the ultimate one, the biggest one, is 25 tiles in a square shape. So the damage is 150 to 150 and 500. And also reduces target's basic defense by five for the round. So again, it's a big damage. This one, this is the last one. This is the third round area of effect already. We'll be given a chance to set it up. Her skill requires a lot, a lot of setup because... She needs to to at least go with the second and third round. So this is round zero. So I'm going to initiate a lot of uh, these here because the tutorial tells me to initiate. So once you initiate, this is round zero. Okay. So for round zero. So that's the last one. So count, you have to count, 
basically her her what do you call this her purpose is to lure everybody in into a kill zone so if your kill zone is here you have to put marks here while your enemy closes there so it's only one i don't want to apply anymore i, I want to lure them up here Let's lure them there. As you can see, this is, I think, the second round? Let me check. Okay, this is the second round already. Zero, zero, one, two. So for the second round, it's a diamond shape with 300. It's going to be... The damage is going to be 350, which is big. But again, for you to reach this high of a damage i think you need to get more copies of her um but she's she's good as you can see that's fifth 350 damage if you can set her up well and lure enemies in a specific area so this one this is round two as well so i'm gonna take them out so your purpose for her, if you plan to to do an evasive or defensive strategy, moving and and waiting for 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 the bait mark to mature into um, round two or three, then that is her strategy. So we're at two ready. I'm gonna lure them here. So this is round zero. Take note, guys. That's round zero. Let's place another one. For good measure. Okay, so that's round zero. Both of them. I'm going to lure them to the corner. This is round one. So round one is small. So I'd rather skip this stage and stay where I am. And this is round two. Round two damage. Round two is good already. I wouldn't want to complain with round two. Let's go with round three. I'm gonna kill this guy. Okay, this one is going to be round three. This one is also, I think, round three, but is a bit... Ah, that's round three. It's round three as well. I haven't used that one. So, if you initiate, it's a very big damage. Very big damage. And I tell you guys, her kit is a lot of fun. So, let's uh, just back up and lure them in. So, as you can see, once you deal that damage, that bait mark disappears. So, two left. Her kit is very enjoyable to use, I tell you. Uh, the problem here is once you put the bait value, not the bait mark, it's one at a time. <laughs> so... Place a hunt mark. <clears throat> Sorry. Bait value and hunt mark. So let's um, just uh, end it here. This is... No. Not doing this. So we have round seven. <clears throat> She's a good support, actually, guys. So, as you can see, as you've seen there, that's how you play her. Um, we're going to have to finish this off in a while. It's good that if they put numbers here, but they didn't. So, as you can see, your swarm automatically, then it's about time to explode this. 
it's very it's a very good tactic to have it's a defensive tactic which you could obliterate your enemies and you could just wait for them there you could wait for them while putting in other marks on the field that is how good it is and you can save up to probably nine marks so let's just uh, pause movement and uh, see very easy very easy fun <laughs> Really like her kit. So that is it, guys. That is how you use all three of them. And what are their, you know, probable applications to the game. So I'll leave you to it, guys. If you haven't if you haven't summoned for for Gino and for Fia, it's up to you and who now you know how to use them, how their mechanics, how their skill mechanics are going to be. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.